Alhaji Mohammed Ataba Sani Omolori, a prince from Ebira land in Kogi state, who was born in Okene on the 7th of June 1961, son of the immediate past Ohinohi of Ebira land, loves his home place and the grassroots in Okene with deep passion. Alhaji Mohammed Sani Omolori, who now occupies the exalted office of the clerk of Nigeria's House of Representatives, had his elementary and secondary education in Okene. He was at the Kasina College of Arts, Science and Technology Zaria for his advanced level certificate. He was admitted to the Akmadubele University Zaria to read law in 1979, graduating with LLB honors in 1982. He was called to the bar in 1983 as a solicitor and advocate of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Alhaji Mohammed Sani Omolori did his National Youth Service primary assignment at the Sokoto House of Assembly, after which he transferred his service to the headquarters of the 7th Mechanized Infantry Brigade of the Nigerian Army Sokoto as legal advisor. His real working experience began in 1976, incidentally, when his father was the chairman of Ibira Traditional Council, where he worked as a private secretary. Alhaji Sani Mohammed Omoluri also worked with the Ajaguta Steel Company Limited as a legal advisor. He had a stint at the National Assembly. He was at the Royal Institute of Public Administration London for a course in legislative drafting. He also attended the Public Law Center New Orleans, Louisiana, United States and Nigeria's Institute of Advanced Legal Studies. Alhaji Mohammed Sani Omoluri has occupied vantage positions through which has contributed remarkably to what the legal department of the National Assembly is today. He was the acting director of the Legal Services Department of the National Assembly from 2002 to 2006. He earned a promotion to the position of substantive director in 2007. Alaji Mohammed Sani Omolori became the clerk of the Federal House of Representatives on the 4th of February 2010 a position he still occupies till today. He is a member of the Nigerian Bar Association, African Bar Association, Commonwealth Lawyers Association, and Commonwealth Association of Legislative Councils. He is married with children. With his impressive record of achievement, solid academic background, and most importantly, Alhaji Sani Mohammed Omolori's enormous contributions to Ebira land, Kogi State of Nigeria, the decision of the Ohinohi of Ebira land and the Ebira Traditional Council to honor him with the traditional title of the Chiroma of Ebira land, which is considered as one of the most respected traditional titles in Ebira land, is well thought out. This will spur him to use his enormous goodwill and extensive connection to properly position Ebira land and Kogi state in terms of infrastructural development and improvement of the well-being of the people. Activities lined up for the grand turbaning ceremony of Alhaji Mohammed Ataba Sani Omolori as the Chiroma of Ibira land in Kogu State of Nigeria began with a dinner and gala night which was organized by the wives of Alhaji Omolori at their family house in Lafia Street, Okene. This was to formally welcome and prepare the guests and dignitaries for the grand reception.
The Azad Palace in Okene Kogi State, where His Royal Majesty Al Haji Dr. Ado Ibrahim Atadi III CON holds sway as the Ohinohi of Ibira land and the chief custodian of the cultures and tradition of Ibira people, played host to a galaxy of dignitaries across the country and beyond that had come to be part of the historic event. As the dignitaries streamed in, the rich culture and heritage of Ibira people was on showcase. <laughs> Among the dignitaries in attendance at the event were architect Yomi Awuni, who stood in for Governor Idris Wada of Kogi State. The honorary's colleagues in the House of Representatives gave him a very solid backing. Leading the pack was the Right Honorable Emeka Ihedioha, CON, the Speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives. There's also Honorable Melikat Adiola Kondi, the House Leader, Honorables Abike Dabriyerewa and Uche Kunife and others. The honoree Alhaji Mohammed Sanyo Maluri, who was supported by his wives and family members, looked very regal and graceful in the traditional garb he was wearing, which carries all the power and influence of his office as the Chiroma of Ibira land. By his turbaning as the Chiroma of Ibira land, Alhaji Mohammed Sanyo Maluri, the clerk of the Federal House of Representatives, can be rightly regarded as the Crown Prince and indeed the traditional Prime Minister of Ibira land who henceforth can represent the interests of Ibira people across the country and even beyond, in tandem with the advice of the Ohinohi of Ibira land. In his welcome address, the Ohinohi of Ibira land, His Royal Majesty Alaji Dr. Ado Ibrahim Atadi III, CON, on behalf of the Ibira Area Traditional Council and the entire people of Ibira land, expresses profound appreciation to the Kogi State Government, leadership and membership of the National Assembly, and indeed all those who had come to honor one of the illustrious sons of Ibira land, who, according to him, had held the worthy legacies of service of the people of Ibira land and people of Kogi State and Nigerians in general very loftily in all its areas of endeavor with grace and dignity. The Ohinohi said the people of Ibira land are very proud of him, hoping that other sons and daughters of Ibira land will emulate people like him. Kogi State Deputy Governor Architect Yomi Awoni, who delivered the address of Governor Idris Wada of Kogi State, said Ibira people could not have chosen a better candidate for the exalted traditional office of the Chiroma because he was sure that Alhaji Mohammed Sanyo Maluri as a great asset to Ibira land and Kogi state will use his good offices to better the lot of his people. I would like to congratulate the new Chiroma of Ibira land for this very, very noble elevation by his royal majesty in assuming the title of the Chiroma of the Bira Land. It's quite clear to those of us who know you well that this is an honor that's most appropriate coming from 
through your majesty to your good self. More so, the rapport more that this bestowment connotes is most important and should not be weighed with a mere hand. I certainly pray that God Almighty will continue to empower His Royal Majesty with wisdom and understanding and the ability to continue to do things of this nature, principally because it fosters unity, development and progress in the better land. On behalf of myself and my family, I would like to congratulate you on your topanin as the Shiroma Yogyakira. Your selection for this rare honor by the Ibera Traditional Council headed by His Royal Majesty Alahaji Dr. Ado Ibrahim III, your Hinoy of Iberaland, is no doubt well deserved. I am also aware that this prestigious title is being given to you in recognition of your worthy contributions to Iberaland and your meritorious services to Kogi State and Nigeria as a whole. Other people spoke glowingly of the new Chiroma of Iberaland whom they all praised for his great contributions to the upliftment of the people of Ibrahim land. They urged him to see the honor as a great challenge to do even more for his people. We're here to celebrate his um, good work. We're also here to celebrate with the family for this very honor being given to him. To that extent, I can say that this honor is well deserved. It's one honor, if given to him, will make him to do those things that he's been doing for the people of this community. Oh, nice you can you. see that You're this is a you. man of the people and a man well loved and well cherished by members of the House of Representatives. Uh, on the, the clerk of the House, I have known him for the first five years and uh, I believe he's been a prince. Uh, and prince always believes on the goodwill of his people. Uh, so I believe uh, the clerk of the House has done well for his uh, uh, schedule of his duties and uh, with his commitment to his community. I think he's well deserved to be given as the chairman of Iberland. I wish him the best. He was my classmate in the university. Yes, we were at ABU together. The clerk to me has always been a, a, a brother and he's a man with a very large heart. He's very accommodating and very friendly and he's, uh, he's, he's a man that speaks his heart out. You know, in terms when there's any issue, he will just tell you exactly what he feels. And I'm sure you can 